Today we will discuss about uh, form invariance, it is called Gal Galilean inv invariance also, form invariance of Newton's second law. Okay. So, invariance means which does not vary with that is invariance. If you calculate something using Newton's second law, the value must be same irrespective of frame of reference. The frame of reference must be inertial frame of reference. What is inertial frame of reference? The frame of reference in which Newton's laws are obeyed okay, or applicable. That is called Newton's, uh, that is uh, called uh, inertial frame of reference. So, any number of inertial frames of reference you take with respect to any uh, reference frame, any inertial frame of reference, if you try to find out uh, some uh, values using Newton's second law, it should not be altered, should not be different. So, you have to get same value that is form invariance, that form does not change. Okay. So, that we will see now. In this case, um, let us take Let us take one coordinate system and this is one uh, frame of reference, inertial frame of reference x, okay, y, z and also we will consider one more reference frame of reference, it is at um, uh, at origin is at O, at, the, at x, y, z only, x dash, y, z, z dash and it, it travels with velocity v after t seconds, say it is somewhere here, okay, this is x dash, y dash, z dash, so it travels, this is the origin also you can take O dash and it is traveling with velocity v and travels for t seconds. Okay. So, uh, let us take one point or a uh, particular point somewhere here, a reference point and two observers are there, two observers are there in this x, y, z uh, uh, frame, x, y, z frame and uh, also one more observer is there in the S, S dash reference frame that is X dash Y dash reference frame. Okay. Right. So, what are the coordinates with respect to X, Y, Z? The coordinates of that particular reference point is it has X, Y, Z, right. And also with respect to S, this is with respect to S. With respect to S dash, it has X dash, Y dash, Z dash, right. Now, we will see uh, from here the distance is, let us take some X distance of this particular point because the coordinate is that is X because this reference frame is traveling with velocity v, the distance traveled is v t, okay. And with this reference frame of reference, with respect to this frame of reference, this point will be at a distance x dash from the origin, clear. Now, we will write equation of motion for that particular point of reference. When you write equation of motion with respect to S dash frame of reference, the X dash will be is equal to how much? See the diagram, X, this X dash we need, okay, X minus V T. So, X minus V T is the value we get, equation we get. If you write in terms of Y dash, what is the Y dash value? Because that reference frame relative to the S traveling with velocity V in a particular direction that is horizontal direction, 
then y dash there is no change in vertical or along z direction y dash is equal to y similarly z dash, z dash is equal to z and in the reference frame this in Galilean invariance the t is not considered that is time axis is not there. So, these equations are called Galilean transformations Galilean Galilean transformations okay or Newtonian or Newtonian transformations transformations okay now uh, let us differentiate this equation 1 with respect to time when you differentiate it tx dash by dt is equal to dx by dt minus v and dy dash by dt is equal to dy by dt and similarly dz dash by dt is equal to dz by dt. Okay. Again, we will differentiate once. So, when you differentiate this equation again with the time double differentiation d square x dash by dt square is equal to d square x by dt square because it is moving with constant velocity differentiation of constant is 0 and this is d square y dash by dt square is equal to d squares y by dt square d square z dash by dt square is equal to d square z by dt square. So, what is the double differentiation of the displacement? So, from here what we can draw the uh, what we what we get is the acceleration is not altered. What are the reference frame you take whether s or s dash? S dash is the a dash is the uh, <coughs> acceleration due to s dash reference frame and a is the acceleration calculated with respect to the s reference frame. So, finally, what we got is the accelerations calculated with respect to these two reference frames are same. So, the form invariance is verified in this Galilean um, invariance, Newton's second law is verified, form invariance of Newton's second law is verified. Acceleration same in the sense the force applied on it. If you multiply with mass, m a dash is equal to m a that is force. The forces experienced by that particle or the forces that are calculated on a system with respect to two uh, frame of references which are traveling uh, in the direction of x which are traveling linearly with respect to each other. In that case, the force that is calculated, the force on the system that is calculated due to uh, with respect to the two reference frames is same. This is form invariance. Okay. Uh, thank you. We will see. If you have any doubts, you can write in comment section. Uh, we will continue with uh, one more topic in next video. All the best.